WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday. Uh, this is October the 15th, end of the week, and we're looking at a weekly chart in the Dow that is just about to test a resistance line. The daily chart, remember for weeks we've been talking about this declining uh, channel, a little mini channel, I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It's now become a propellant zone. One of the reasons why we try to keep our the long-term position from last year still intact uh, is because it looked like we were using more time than price in the consolidation. I'm not sure the consolidation is yet complete, but look at the spectacular move up 302 points in the Dow, 35,211. Definitely way into the 35,190 level that I said is what we're looking at as the next resistance. Very nice action. Day is young. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. So far, so good. S&P, leg C. I can't remember if I drew this during my show the other, uh, yesterday or not, or it was afterwards. But what I said is in this particular technique, which I'll be discussing in detail in my uh, webinar coming up for subscribers to my opening call, that'll be Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Go to the front page of TFN and check it out. There's a pattern that I call the falling axe formation where you come down, make lower highs and much lower lows. When you take out that resistance point, there's a chance you can go one to one, and I use it very carefully, you know, specific levels that I look at, and that says there's a chance that the S&P can get to 44.79. It's at 44.65 of 27. Even the QQQ, lagging, but still doing okay, of 82 cents at 367. It's testing that resistance line, but the IWM, within the weekly larger rectangle formation, is heading towards the upper part of the, the uh, horizontal channel. And here we are. It's broken out above the resistance line. It's up 217 and 228. Very nice action. Here's the problem. I don't know if it's a problem per se, but it is a problem for gold. Gold is down 25. As I said before, gold is in a trading, uh, a shorter term trading range. It went up almost to the 200 period moving average. Now it's pulling back. I think it's still in play. It's getting used to these big uh, transitory moves. The TLT is pulling back. So yields are going up. And crude oil, I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Crude oil is up again. I'll be back for the Tiger